it's very important with Paul before I just know him. I get the topic she wanna record it, I'll never say no, that's boring. What's going on YouTube? Now I'm here and I'm back with another banger video. And yes, look, y'all see today's title and thumbnail. I'm going to be teaching y'all how to design your first mock-up on Photoshop. I'm gonna basically be showing y'all how to change colors, you know what I'm saying? How to add your logo to a mock-up and actually how to add eyes to watch for y'all logo. I don't want to do too much talking. This video was highly requested in my Discord. So I asked my Discord what type of videos they need help on. They all asked me to make a video on designing and how I designed these specifically hoodies that I have made. Yes, I'm literally going to be teaching y'all how I design my hoodies on, on Photoshop. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Type of hoodies I'm gonna design today. I already got the logo and everything, so I'm gonna just show y'all how I put the logo on the hoodie, how I add acid wash to the hoodie, how to change colors and all that good stuff because a lot of people have been asking for that type of help. Why not make a YouTube video and help everyone out? Feel me? So I don't wanna do too much talking. Let's go straight on my website. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what type of hoodie I'm gonna be showing y'all gonna be making. Yes, I literally dropped this hoodie and I'm gonna be showing y'all how I designed it, how I sent it to my manufacturer and everything. Woven tag too. As y'all can see on the screen, we got my website statement. If y'all ain't know, that's my clothing brand name statement. Uh, I run a clothing brand name statement. Y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? Got the stickers, all that good stuff. And we actually got some unreleased on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what type of hoodies I'm gonna be designing. Y'all see these acid wash hoodies right here, feel me? Y'all can see I designed these acid wash hoodies. And a lot of people have been asking me, yo, how'd you make the tech pack to it? Because it kind of looked confusing to them. So I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all that it's really not confusing. It's really like the easiest thing ever to make. Black colorway, we got brown colorway, we got a navy colorway. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go on Photoshop to show y'all exactly what this mock-up is gonna be looking like. Y'all can see on the screen right here, feel me? This is what I'm gonna be making today. So first things first, which I wanna do, y'all wanna get y'all a logo, feel me? I'm not gonna make the logo because I got my logo off a of graphic designer. So pay my graphic designer, hey, cook me up a nice little logo with some skulls in it all that good stuff and this is what he cooked up when you guys are designing you guys want to imagine what type of printing style you guys want to do so when I looked at this, I instantly said I want to do screen print because screen print is best for one color. I wouldn't suggest doing DTG. Screen print is way better quality than DTG. Everyone just uses DTG because it's like better vibrant colors and all that good stuff. So if you guys have one or two colors, like even with this zip up, this zip up is screen print. This at the bottom is screen print, but it got the nice stones on it. I don't know if y'all can see. It got stones on it and this is screen print. This is a screen print logo. So if you guys definitely just have an all white logo, as soon as I got this design, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do screen print because the screen print design, is literally the best quality if you have one color specifically. So I automatically knew I want to do screen prints. First thing that I always do is, and a lot of people kept asking me how they do it, is how do they change the colors on my tech pack? The last video on design that I made, a lot of people kept asking me in the comments, how did you change the colors? Y'all could probably see, okay, it's a lot, a lot of going on, a lot going on. I'm gonna just show y'all the mock-up alone with no effects, no nothing. So I'm gonna just show y'all the blank mock-up right here. Y'all probably wondering, how do you go from here to this? And I'm gonna show y'all in today's video. So first thing first, if you guys want, to have acid wash on your hoodie this is the first thing i suggest so you guys want to go ahead and make a new layer control shift n if you guys want to make a new layer or you guys just want to go to layer and then new and then just click layer feel me all that good stuff so you guys want to go ahead and make you a layer this is if you guys want to add acid wash i'm gonna go ahead and show you how a few ways you can add acid wash but this is my specific way that i would do so what you guys want to do is go ahead and click brightness slash contrast it's literally just to make the hoodie brighter so in some spots it's going to be brighter and this is exactly how i make my acid wash for my hoodie so first things first that you want to do you just want to click brightness it should be under this uh under the layers right here click brightness slash contrast do not click the one that is up here I repeat, if you click adjustments, do not click this adjustments because you cannot edit it later. So what you guys wanna do is you wanna make the brightness slash contrast a layer. You wanna go down here, you see this little uh, half little circle thing, I don't know what it's called, but you're gonna go ahead and click that, click brightness slash contrast, and it's gonna make it a whole new layer. So what this means is, you guys can see how I'm moving it up and down, and then the picture is getting brighter and the picture is getting darker. First thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you clip the layer to the image. What that means is if I clip this layer to the mock-up, then the layer is only gonna show on the mock-up and not on the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example. If I go ahead and press right click and then press create clipping mask right here, feel me? Create clipping mask and it's going to go directly on the layer. So now if I put it brighter, then it's just gonna be on the mock-up. So y'all can already see where we're going with this. If you clip mask it to that layer, then it's just gonna be on that single layer. So I suggest you guys doing that. Make sure you put a clip mask on, on the mock-up layer. Y'all see right here, no clip mask, clip mask. No clip mask, clip mask. I like to go ahead and put the brightness all the way up so I can see what I'm working with. You guys wanna click the eraser tool right here. The eraser tool right here, you guys wanna go ahead and erase the background, feel me? Y'all wanna go ahead, make your uh, eraser a little bit bigger, and y'all just wanna erase the background. So, let me give y'all an example. I'm gonna go ahead, 
make it bigger click you see on the brightness layer you see how it has this little white um background you want to click make sure the white background is clicked and erase the whole thing y'all gonna see later how i get to um, making an acid wash on it too as well you just want to erase the whole thing so y'all want to make sure y'all delete the whole layer so this is where you get to adding your acid wash once you delete the whole layer make sure your brightness and contrast click this little uh circle sun thing Make sure the brightness is all the way up. Make sure this is all the way up. This is a crucial way to make acid wash on this type of mock-up. So what you guys want to do, you want to make sure it's all, all the way up. Then you want to click the layer right here where everything is kind of already gone. And what you want to do is you guys want to go to where you want to make your acid wash at. So let's say if I want to acid wash here, I want to click the little brush tool, click the brush tool. And what this basically does, it brings back that color to it. So and y'all can see how it just brightens up some spots feel me and y'all can all um you could literally pick anywhere you want to do so make sure you delete it you know what i'm saying you pick the brush i said if i want acid wash right here acid wash right here feel me right here feel me boom you just click random spots that you want the acid wash and boom it's going to come up as acid wash y'all could literally see you could put acid wash anywhere if i didn't want to do that y'all could just you know what i'm saying erase it from here just erase it with the eraser tool but let's say i want acid wash here here Feel me? Or if you want it just like a nice little part, you could do that. When to click here, if you guys want to edit the adjustments, you could do, you could edit it. You know what I'm saying? Click the brightness, just mess with it a little bit. So, you know what I'm saying? I have mines on a Mac. So this is why I like doing this because it's, you could literally edit it any single time. So let's say I do not want this acid wash type style. I could literally erase the whole thing. Even if I want to do a different pattern, I could do right here, right here. Feel me? You could just do a bunch of spaces. You could make the brush a little bit smaller. And how to adjust the size on a brush, you want to click your right click. And then you could adjust the size right here, feel me, and all that good stuff. So that's what I would just suggest doing. You could do like little tiny little spots. And if you don't like it, literally click the eraser button, but make sure it is selecting the square. Click erase. If you want to erase it, you can erase the whole thing. And yeah, that's basically how I created my mock-up tech pack, feel me. So I literally just selected anywhere I wanted to. So let's say right here, feel me acid wash all up here a little spot right there this is i think the most efficient way i know how to do it because you could literally erase it and then do it all over again like if i didn't want this i could literally erase it do anything i want there's other ways to do it but this is in my opinion the easiest most simpler simple way edit it at any time you could literally take it off you can add it on you could adjust the the brightness of it if you want to make it all the way down Good brightness all the way up that is how i made my um acid wash on my mock-up type pack i was trying to tell people that it's really not not that many steps to it and yeah after that i really just add my logo bro it's really not that hard it's not really that it's just that simple and then i send it to my manufacturer and with hoodies like this you really don't need to make a tech pack for it because with something's this simple you could literally send it to the hoodie send it to the manufacturer tell the manufacturer to make it exactly like the photo with the acid wash follow the acid wash spot and tell them you just want screen print because this is just a basic hoodie just a screen print design so yeah and with the logo you could add any logo you want this is just what makes it a nice little acid wash background we're gonna get into the, the part of the video where everyone was asking me how do i change all the colors at once so this is really easier than y'all think i'm pretty sure most of y'all were just overthinking this but to change the colors all you guys want to do this is where you guys want to make your layers at feel me if you guys want to change your color to anything go down to your layers right you see this little half little circle thing this little circle thing is going to be your friend when it comes to editing bro i promise y'all click the half little circle click hue and saturation do not when you're editing do not click the image adjustments and hue saturation do not do it this way because a lot of people will tell you to do it this way but look i'm gonna show y'all what happens when y'all do it this way you want if you do it this way image adjustments hue saturation and then let's say you edit the color. Let's say you edit the color. You guys could just copy. You could copy me if y'all want um, on like how I do it. So y'all can see a hue saturation color. Let's say I want to make a purple hoodie and I will make this like a little bit more bright. So boom, let's say I want to make a purple hoodie. Now, what if you want to change the hoodie color back? You can't, you're cooked. What if you want to, how do I change it back to black? The only way to change it back to black is to go to human saturation and mess with these until you get black again. That is why I tell everyone, do not do it from human saturation because that is now nowhere to save. You, you can literally, you can't change it once it's done unless you undo it. So that's why I always tell everyone when you're messing with your colors, hue, saturation, and brightness, always make a layer, a specific layer for it. And how do you make a specific layer you might ask? Go down here, you see the half little circle thing? It's called your adjustments. Click the adjustments. Scroll down, you got all of these. And if you click any of these, it's gonna make it a layer itself. And it just called an adjustment layer. So you wanna click it, you wanna click hue and saturation. Then you guys see this little new layer popped up. 
this is where you can change you can edit it you could change specific parts of the hoodie to a different type of color this is where you can edit everything let's say i want to change my hoodie to black also another thing is and what you guys want to do you guys want to clip art mask it bro clip mask and adjustments layer to important friends you want to right click right scroll all the way down and you see create clipping mask what this does it only changes the color for that layer so let me give you an example i'm gonna go ahead and change the layer y'all see right here y'all probably like yo how do i get it in the why is the background red i don't want the background red you guys want to right click make sure that it is on top of the layer y'all see how this one is already a clip mask make sure y'all it is on top of the layer you want to go create clipping mask boom then y'all see how it now is just on the hoodie layer that's how you create it to make it only on the layer what you guys want to do now you guys just want to go ahead and play with the colors bro playing with this is literally just off of your mind i can't tell you what colors you want to do is you guys have it as a separate layer so even if i make it blue right i could easily hide the layer if i want to go back to black so this is why you guys want to add it make sure you guys add in a layer make sure it is a, make sure it is a specific layer this is literally free green because a lot of brand owners will tell y'all click image adjustments but no you can't edit that this you can edit it crazy you can make this a uh, different color even if you don't like the blue if you want to change your mind go back later if you don't like the blue you can make it green feel me so that's why i'm telling y'all make sure y'all do it a layer so y'all can edit it and to bring all the color so this is exactly how i do it literally i was literally doing this while i designed i got the black hoodie right the black hoodies is on so i'm gonna just go ahead and name this layer of black make sure y'all group everything because so it's not confusing all that good stuff so the black hoodie layer boom copy paste i'm gonna go ahead and show you how i made the brown and other ones black you know what i'm saying i'm gonna name this one brown because this is the brown hoodie i'm gonna go in here click this hue saturation and i'm gonna go ahead and try to find the color brown to the best of my abilities so i think this is kind of like the best brown that we could get so yeah this is kind of like the best brown i would say a nice good little brown make sure you make it as realistic as possible and boom y'all literally just seen me make a black hoodie a black mock-up to a brown hoodie and i ain't even do that many slaps bro all you want to do is copy and paste make, group it once you finish your group once you finish your design all that group the whole thing copy paste Make sure you want to go in, change the hue and saturation, feel me, change it to brown. And even if I didn't want to do brown, let's say I don't want to do brown no more. You could literally go to the color wheel right here, change it to green, red, blue, purple. You could change it to anything. But for this one, we're going to do brown, feel me. This is how I test out also, this is also how I test out a bunch of different colorways. What I personally like to do when I'm designing, I literally just sit here and do this till I literally find one. This is all I do. I switch it, I change the color a little bit, feel me. Oh, green will go crazy. Then I pick green. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and do the brown for right now. So we could, we could even make it gray. We just going to copy it. Brown, colorway, boom. Nice, ready to go. Now we got two different colorways. Y'all literally seen how simple that is. That is literally the most like, it's simple. It ain't even that crazy hard. Copy it, copy the group. Click Control J. Du duplicate group. And then I'm going to go ahead and name it, name it Navy. Because I'm going to do the navy blue one. And then we just going to go ahead and move the navy one over here. We're going to go uh, move this layer all the way down. Navy. Go in the layer and just change the colors to navy. Feel me? This is exactly what I did. Uh, trying to get a navy blue colorway-ish. Kind of zoom in on a little bit. So y'all can literally see the three different colors if y'all want to drop it. Like if I wanted to add, add a different color, mad easy. Yeah, I, I mess with this navy. So boom. We just made another color. Let's say, yo, how do I make another color? Right click. Duplicate. You know what I'm saying? Let's make any color. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just testing out. I'm just testing out right now. I'm going to go ahead and move right here. Go to hue and saturation, that layer again. And you just edit it. Edit, yo, a green will go crazy. Like if I made a gray, a gray will go crazy. Oh, boom. I just made a gray. Now if I want to make another color, duplicate group, any color, two. And y'all see on how the sides, like how it's so organized. Make sure y'all group everything, name everything, because when it gets organized, I hate when it's not organized, bro, because everything just be out of the order, like out of place and all that good stuff. So any color too, when you click clean and saturation, feel me, we could go ahead and change a different color, feel me. Move it, we could do purple. And y'all literally just seen, I just did, what? Five different, I just did five different colorways in like two minutes, bro. So that's what I'm telling y'all. It is not that hard to change colors and all that good stuff. Just make sure you guys are using the, the, the adjustment layer right here. The adjustment layer gonna go, feel me? The adjustment layer gonna do your works, bro. Because you can edit it. You can literally see if, even if I ain't like this purple, go back in the purple adjustment layer, 
change it to green, change it to anything. Highly suggest y'all use the adjustment layer. Yeah, y'all can see I literally just did three different uh, colorways right now. I'm gonna go ahead and make them smaller so y'all can see the end result out of all of them. Is once you get your first mock-up, then, you know what I'm saying, change the colors, all that good stuff. Because once you get your first one, you can change it, make it blue, purple, anything. Y'all can literally see. I just created a whole five color collection in like 10 minutes. That is exactly how I design my hoodies. Now, sending this to a manufacturer, film me this how y'all design your first mock-ups. Sending this to a manufacturer, all you guys wanna do is, if it is a basic hoodie, all you guys wanna do is just send them a picture of this. Like with my manufacturer, I didn't make no mock-ups. So yeah, if y'all wanna see the tech pack, this is exactly what I did for the tech pack. You ain't even gotta, you ain't even gotta make a tech pack, but I did for mine. Yeah, I actually did drop these hoodies. These hoodies are still on my site. I could show you, these, this is the final product. This is it mocked up. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. You know what I'm saying? The product went crazy. Y'all can see in this picture, this is the same hoodie. This is the same hoodie. Y'all can see the ass wall. I hope y'all all learned something from this video, bro. This video was highly requested in my Discord again. So if you guys want to go ahead and join my Discord, bro, we be in the Discord literally almost every day, almost, almost every night. My Discord be active, feel me? We just be talking. We just be chatting it up. I was literally in a call probably like two nights ago when someone literally joined and said, you could make a video about how to design your first mock-up, your first tech pack, feel me? I was like, I got you, bro. I got you. I'm finna go record this video. Hope you guys all learned something from this video, bro. It's fortunately going to be the end of today's video. I just want to get this little video out for y'all so y'all could feel me a lot of people was having troubles with making mock-ups and all that good stuff and i'm just here to let y'all know it ain't that hard just feel me follow the steps in this video you could go ahead and make these mock-ups these mock-ups will be in the link in the description you know what i'm saying i got y'all heard about i've been in the call recently a lot and a lot of people have been telling me like yo name like appreciate you like I, they actually been thanking me for making a discord because there's not a lot of people in their city that really likes to be on the clothing brand stuff so being in a Discord around a bunch of clothing man owners, they've been telling me it's been motivating them more. It's motivating them more to work because there's always like you could literally join up the I could I don't, let me see if they in there right now. Like I literally join up the call, feel me? They all chilling. Y'all could literally see they chilling in the Discord. I'm finna show y'all. I'm finna join up. Yo, what's good? Yo, I'm recording for YouTube. Y'all trying to say what's up for YouTube? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, what's up? y'all say it's they me. feel me. Join the Discord. Yeah, we it's all time. in here. But yeah, I'll catch y'all. I'll catch y'all later though. It's free to join, but there's also a premium to it as well. If you guys want to pay monthly for that extra sauce, the price is going up too. It's crazy. I hope y'all all learned something from today's video, bro. If you're new, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, bro. I appreciate all y'all for watching, bro. Shopstatementbrand.com. Y'all see, you know what I'm saying? You can't fail if you never give up. I'll yeah. catch y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I always remember the devil only know about what you tell them. It's power in the tongue, I still be trying to be discreet. What you know about going through some hell and trying to keep it deep. I had beat your block, you had got off instead of beating feet. Every time you kiss, you really never come with a receipt. Niggas see that bill put on the table, act like they ain't eat. Niggas talk that tough shit, bump down on them, they act like they ain't street. I had got lost once and bought a compass, cause I just can't. And I'm the only nigga I know got a bed and